Mary McCartney. She's a daughter of Beatles legend Paul McCartney. She's launching a new cooking show. She's a cookbook author. She's a photographer. She's hoping to make vegetarian dishes easy and accessible, she says. It's called Mary McCartney Serves It Up. Her friends include actresses Kate Hudson and Cameron Diaz, make virtual appearances to share recipes, stories, and the food that they love. I was invited. Mary knows I can't cook, so I got a got to make a sunshine mocktail. I could even do that. In this clip, McCartney creates meatless marinara subs with musician Mark Ronson. I, I realize that you're treating me a bit like a <laughs> three-year-old, but I also like the idea. This looks so good, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Now we just put the top on it. Get the top on that sandwich. Kind of squish it oh down or not? This is going to be so messy to eat. Yeah. You can only eat this with friends or on your own. It's it's beautiful though. So there we have it. Let's yeah. compare. Mine's a little bit messier, like kind of falling out of the side, but it's I got like... character. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want, character in your sandwich. I could always I could listen to you talk all day, Mary McCartney. It's called Serves It Up. It airs on the streaming service Discovery Plus. She joins us first on CBS this morning. Mary, good morning to you. It's so good to see you. Good morning. I, I, I hear you have snow in New York. Yes, I know. You should see it, Mary. It's <laughs> it's big, 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 giant, giant, giant mounds of snow. But we're managing. Well, we're I'm okay. Drink, we're a hearty lot I'm here in New York. A, I'm drinking a gale sunshine, so <laughs> I'm thinking of sunnier days. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. This is the thing, Mary. When you first called me about the show, I said, Mary, I don't cook. I'm not a vegetarian. You said, that's okay. And I said, well, why would I come on? Why do you want to have me on? What are we going to do? You said, it's all about the conversation, Gail. It's all about that yeah, you and said, having fun along said, the way. Exactly. And I said, it's my cooking show, so I'm going to cook for you. Yes. You don't have to cook for me. You're now, my guest. And this is what Mary did, guys. She sent all of the food, because I thought, there's no way I can do this. She sent all of the food, fully prepared. <laughs> all I had to do was take it out and put it on a plate. I could do that. So you sent three cameras because everything was done remotely. So Alexis, my assistant, had to set up three different cameras. I couldn't believe what you pulled off. You're in London, and I'm in my kitchen in New York. And you describe yeah. your vegetarian recipes as healthy but not righteous. I was a little nervous, Mary, because I always feel vegetarians are very uh, judgmental of us people that like a good burger. But you said, nope, that's not this kind of party. Explain what you mean by that. Um, I think Mary McCartney serves it up is is really um, devised for people that are meat reducers. So mm -hmm. I grew up in a vegetarian family and we promote meat free Monday, which is like going veggie for one day, plant based living on a Monday, one day a week to sort of help your carbon footprint. And it's really something everyone can do to make a difference. And I found that lots of people were saying, well, I want to eat less meat, but I don't know what to cook. So I've grown up in that kind of family. So I am always about giving meal solutions and recipes. I sort of want to hold your hand and take you through the process and inspire you, not tell you off and judge you, kind of just say, look, let's do it. I don't want you to judge me and I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, did let's you have eat. a conversation at home that changed your way of thinking? No, I mean, if anything, I found growing up that when I left home and I'd be at dinner parties, someone would be sitting next to me and they'd see I'd be eating veggie and they go, are you vegetarian? What, you know, and start like getting at me, like, do you do this? And like, and I was like, I'm not telling you what to eat. Let's, let's chill out here. So over the years, what is so exciting is that has changed. And it's like, there's open conversation about food and where food comes from. So I think my role is to, um, literally people are like, I just want ideas of what to yeah. cook, something quick, easy, meat free. And that's where I come in. Uh, hey, Mary, it's, you it's know, things. Oh, I was going to say, Mary, it's Tony, Anthony. Uh, it's Tony DeCopel here. Uh, we, we are a big cooking household. We're very excited for the show. We already watch a lot of Discovery Network. Uh, I have a question related to one of your kitchen essentials, and Anthony's already laughing at me here, but uh, one of your kitchen essentials, in fact, number one, is a toaster. Now, my wife yeah. and I have a debate running about whether the toaster should always be on the counter or be put away <laughs> after use. And I'm wondering, could always, you clear up... Always on... Always on the counter. Yay! Ooh. That's what I say too, Mary. Question. Yes, that's what I Just say too. Just to have a shot here. 
No, I'm like, do you need it? My, and my reasoning is I'm toast obsessed. I'm sandwich obsessed. So it might be for breakfast with peanut butter and jelly on it. But often at lunchtime, I'll like heat up a soup and just put a piece of toast in and then layer it up with things. So yeah, I need it at the ready at all times. So sorry to your wife. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's no, you, my wife is very happy. That's yeah, sorry she, to me. Yeah, she's happy. Tony's yeah. in trouble. Yeah, team I'm team. sandwich obsessed too. I get that feeling. But I, Mary, I want to ask yeah. you, it's Anthony. I want to ask you, about one of your other talents other than cooking, which is photography. You took the cover yes. photograph of your father and Taylor Swift for Rolling Stone, which is yes. kind of a wow. cool assignment. Yes. What was that like? Well, it was pretty amazing. I kind of became dad's lockdown photographer during the first lockdown. I did the album cover for McCartney 3, the pictures for that too. And then dad was um, really sweet. He came up to me and he said, look, we're doing a... Rolling Stone cover with Taylor Swift and he said I'd love you to take the picture and he pointed out something I hadn't thought of he said your mom was the first female oh. photographer to have the cover of Rolling Stone oh, wow. in the 60s so wow, it sort of Mary. all came full circle so when I yeah look at my the... two passions are photography and food when I so. look at that picture I see that Here Paul is looking actually directly at you and I'm wondering when you yeah. knew growing up when did you know growing up that he was famous and he was a Beatle? And what was it like to be able to boss him around to say, Dad, I need you to do X, Y, and Z? <laughs> I think I probably realized it when I got older and we'd be at restaurants and yeah. we'd sort of be all having like a family dinner and then people would literally like put their turn their chairs around and be looking at us like we were the entertainment <laughs> uh, because apart from that growing up we like lived in sort of we would go away to quiet places so mainly when I got old enough and I was like why is everyone looking at us yeah. so yeah I hid behind the camera for quite a long time taking pictures and then Discovery Plus contacted me and said, will you do this cooking show? So I'm being brave and stepping yes. in front of the camera. Well, See, Gail, you don't, you are, you're scared of cooking, but I'm like, this is, this for me is a whole new experience. I, I am I'm so scared of into. cooking. I can't do it, but I would love for you to send me that cauliflower number that you made. It was uh, so delicious. I'll never be able to pull it off. I'll use that, it too. I'll make it for yeah, you. Tony can actually that, cook, but, so please send it. Do you know what was, do you know what was amazing about that? Because as Gail said, she, I texted her and I was like, will you be on my cooking show and she was like mary i don't cook please don't ask me to do it please don't make me and i'm like i'm not gonna make you cook and you was almost up until we did the facetime no. you weren't quite trusting me i trust and, you mary um, mccartney and then, i adore you and i'm cheering you on <laughs> did with we have the show. best time gail we, we had, had the, the best time, time. thank you anyway, so much anyway the best mary. thing was the best thing mary, was we gotta go the recipe after I'm so sorry, Mary. Good to Mary. see you, Gail. Good to see you, bye, too. Guys. I'm so sorry. Bye. I gotta go. <laughs> and we've got... The, bye. Cheers. Cheers. Gail Sunshine Mocktail. We have posted it, the recipe on our Facebook, Twitter, and our Instagram page. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to get me one.